All right, what is up, YouTube? I just purchased the Ryobi BS904G uh, nine inch bandsaw. Uh, and if you took the time to uh, watch this video, thank you very much. I uh, just wanted to give a quick overview and a quick demonstration. Uh, not a big overview in the sense that I'm gonna tell you all the specifications of this model. Um, I'm just going to talk about the bandsaw just in general. Uh, the unboxing, the, the machine itself comes out basically all in one piece with the exception of the, the table saw, the, if that's the word for it. Uh, the saw table. I think that sounds better. The saw table, uh, take off that little screw, slip it on, uh, consult your owner's manual to see how to do it. If you get yourself one of these little saws, uh, in my opinion, it's, it's strictly a beginning bandsaw, small project bandsaw, keep it in your garage, do small things with it. Now, if you're one of those guys that's in construction, uh, in the trades, uh, making furniture, if you have one of them big bandsaws that you're going to be punishing on a regular basis, this little saw is not going to do it for you. Uh, all the sawdust tends to go down. The, the, the blade spins downward, so it's cutting downwards. Uh, it, it's kind of straightforward if you read through the manual itself. It's a quiet machine. You don't really need uh, hearing protection for it. But if you're used to wearing hearing protection and you got it, eh, go ahead and use it. Uh, but this is pretty quiet. I always use uh, eye protection. I always use eye protection. Uh, be careful uh, when you hand, with your hands when you're using it. Uh, I'm going to make a couple of cuts here in a second just to just to demonstrate how uh, quiet it is for one uh, but two how easy it cuts through uh, the wood that I have here again this is a these are this is a softer wood so it's not going to put a big strain on on this uh, on this bandsaw I read some other reviews where there's some folks that said you know some of the hardwoods are going to give this little machine some problems uh, I believe it you know they wouldn't say it if it wasn't happening uh, unless they're competitors I, I'm assuming anyway some of those hardwoods may give it problems I don't have anything around here that would be considered a hardwood I don't think so some of the softwood easy goes right through it now this is not all the tips and tricks I just want to have you see uh, what I've already seen. So let's turn this thing on so you can hear what it sounds like. And let's just make a couple of quick test cuts. And we'll freehand some, uh, some little curves in there as well. Not sure I was able to be heard, but uh, real smooth cuts. Uh, not a lot of tear out on this. Uh, fairly easy. A couple quick more cuts, and it does come with a miter gauge. Not sure how often people will be using it, but it does come with it. Now, let me pause this real quick so I can give a quick little walk around on this on this Ryobi, turn the power off and take a closer, quick look at it. And abracadabra, I'm back. Uh, pretty simple, straightforward. Let me turn the power off on this real quick. 
power off and unplugged. Nothing like overkill. Test it out, power's off. Now when you first get it and look at it, it's built. And there's your there's your dust. You see the blade right there? Okay, so see the blade centered on the wheel? Same thing for the bottom portion. When you close this up, uh, it may be hard to see because of the light, but in this little small window, you can see where the, where the blade is gonna be centered on the wheel. This little knob here uh, while you're operating it, you're able to shift it so you can make sure this blade is centered on the wheel. So you can actually view it, this, that little viewfinder, and change it. This will this will tighten up the belt, uh, the blade itself. This lever here will drop down. I know this is not a great video since the sun's out let me move this around uh, but I'm not trying to tell you how to install it and how to operate it always check the the user manual and and figure out what you need to do this knob will unlock this so this height adjustment can be moved around Now I've yet to, apart from making a few cuts here and making some test cuts, I just got this yesterday, so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a quick minute before I actually start working on it, working with it, uh, making any type of projects. Uh, but for for the money, for a beginner bandsaw, uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's uh, $139. I got it at the Home Depot. Uh, again, for myself, really just starting off trying to make little projects. And uh, I'm actually making this little, it's standing up straight. Yeah. Little toy box that I'm making for my girls. Just need to finish it. I'm gonna finish that today. I promise. Um, so, yeah. Before I start babbling and going in circles, that's it. That's what about this weekend. Uh, little Ryobi bandsaw. As you heard it, nice and quiet. I think if you get one yourself, you'll be surprised. Uh, it may not uh, be a big machine. It's a small machine. Get small projects done. So far what I've seen, I've liked. Once I've put it uh, to work for an, and do an actual project, then I'll report back and I'll let, you, I'll let you know what I've learned. So thanks for tuning in.